Hello Gut Squad, welcome back to my channel. This is Cecily as always. Today is kind of fun. I want to do a what's in my purse video. So I've seen a lot of these on YouTube and in other places. A lot of people like to like go through what's in their purse and I thought it'd be kind of funny, kind of fun to go through what's in an Ostomate's purse. I played this game once with my sorority in college where we all went through what's in our purses and I won the game for like the weirdest crap in my purse. <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment. I don't know if that's a good thing, but I definitely have to agree. I have some weird stuff in my purse. I, full disclosure, have not been through this thing in a little while, so I'm not sure what's in here. There are going to be some ostomy supplies. There's going to be some like random crap that I probably forgot I put in there. Who knows? But I decided, hey, why not film just like what's in my purse on this day. So let's get into it. This is my purse. It's not like Gucci or anything super cute. I like having functionality in my wardrobe typically, which is why I normally wear like Lycra and spandex and leggings because I just don't, I don't need things too frilly. So I have this black purse, ye old black purse I got on Amazon like two years ago and it's never failed me. The thing is like water resistant. It's really nice. I love my purse. Anyway, Anyway, this purse is nice because it has like a ton of different little compartments and we're gonna go through like the main one first so let's see first thing I'm pulling out my sunglasses not too weird but I like them <laughs> I love these sunglasses I wear them all the time next thing oh we have my little med kit yeah I have a first aid kit in my purse I've been carrying a first aid kit in my purse since I was about 15 I think so I just have like bandages neosporin alcohol prep swab all that jazz some like antihistamine creams and things like that so yep that's my little Johnson & Johnson first aid kit I love this thing okay. next is <laughs> icebreaker sours these are my favorite like mint chewable candy things um, they have no sugar which is great for an ostomy like me I love using these when I'm nauseous and I usually if I'm out and about and I get nauseated I can just pop one or two of these and it kind of helps like take away that weird sensation that you get when you're nauseated that you're like constantly making new saliva. I don't know. I, I'm sure if you guys have dealt with nausea, you know that it's nice to just have a little something kind of sour in your mouth to, to distract you from it. So that is why I carry these guys around and they are actually almost out. So I need to get more. Okay, next wallet, of course. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this is the Adapt Stoma Powder from Hollister. I carry this guy around. I also have more obviously in my house, but I like to carry it around my purse as well. Let's see. Oh, I have a little compact mirror. There we go. Yep. You can see yourself. Hi guys. <laughs> so that's my mirror. Now I'm going to go into this next compartment in here. This guy actually like has two compartments in the main area. So I'm going to go into this next area right in here. Tic Tacs. I told you guys about my Tic Tac trick. I like to have Tic Tacs around so that I can put them in my stoma bag or my ostomy bag um, as sort of like a scent reducer. So if I don't have my lubricating deodorant on me, I can just use these guys. Oh. An ostomy bag, what would you guess? <laughs> yes, I have um, a convex ostomy bag in here by Coloplast. Kind of embarrassing, but I have some deodorant packets because you never know when you're gonna need deodorant on the road. So yes, I have some of these um, EO deodorant packs. They're pretty nice actually. I love them because if I ever go into the hospital and I'm without deodorant for like two days and I don't have anything, like I can't get my normal stuff and I don't have my normal toiletries, it's really nice to just be able to use this like under your armpits yep I'm good so this is good to have around I love having like little toiletries in my purse just in case something disastrous happens you know all right next okay this is my big bag of ostomy stuff that I always keep in my purse it has another set of ostomy bags it has this one and another one that has like a totally flat wafer in case I'm having like a flat day this is also a transparent one I like having different like colors and shapes and different types of opacity bags 
bags with me just in case I'm like I'm going to a nursing appointment and then I need to wear one that's totally uh, clear or translucent. Some Cavalon as well. Cavalon is my fave. All right, I have some adhesive remover wipes, of course, because as you guys probably have noticed by now, I almost never take off my bag without some sort of adhesive remover just because my skin is so sensitive and so dry all the time that if I were to just tear off the adhesive, it would tear off a lot of skin with it. All right, I have a barrier ring from Hollister, an adapt barrier ring, a weird Mayo Clinic <laughs> business card, another barrier ring. Uh, this is from Brava, and this is another barrier ring that I really like. Uh, the adapt and the Brava line are both really, really good for any kind of barrier ring, so you can't go wrong with either one. Uh, these are from Coloplast. These are my favorite scissors for cutting bags. They have this little curve to them that makes them really nice because you can get like a perfectly round angle if you're good at cutting. I never get it perfect, but I, I try. So these are the ones that I like to use and I always have a pair in my purse on hand. Oh, yep, I have some catheters in case I have any urinary retention, which is really nice to have in your pocket. These are from Coloplast. These are called the Speedy Caths. They're super nice because they're pre-lubricated, so I don't need to bring any lubricant with me in my purse. It's just pre-lubricated. I have a pair of nail clippers, of course. I think I started carrying these around after one of my hospital visits because I remember being in the hospital for like two weeks and thinking how much I wish that I had had some nail clippers on me. So it's good to carry these around. You never know when you're gonna need them. That is all for the innermost portion of my purse. So let's get into the next part, which is going to be like the front side. The front side has a little compartment right here. I'm just gonna slide that open. And these are just some heparin flushes. I carry these around because if you guys don't know, I have a pick line um, that is a peripherally inserted central catheter. And my pick line requires frequent flushes with heparin that's called heparinizing so if I'm out and about or it's getting really late I try to heparinize every night before I go to bed so it's nice to just have uh, one or two on me in case I ever need to heparinize and I'm out and I'm not home okay oh alcohol wipes very nice these are great because I need them to interact with my pick line so if I ever need to do a quick pick thing or clean up my pick while I'm out and about then I can just use these nice little hands Dandy dandy alcohol wipes. A pair of gloves, of course, can't hurt. I feel like this is like the world's lamest pinata. Oh, and I also have some Tegaderm. This is just in case, like, I need it for my bag, for my pick line, who knows, a huge wound. <laughs> I have these on hand at all times. I always try to carry some Tegaderm in my purse. Oh, I have my contacts in here. Uh, I always carry a spare of contacts. If you guys don't know, I wear contacts and I would wear glasses, but I don't really like how glasses feel on my face, so I usually go with contacts. Oh, I have a little candy. <laughs> this is one of my Jinjins. This is good for nausea as well, in addition to the icebreakers. So, like I said, it's always good to carry around something that can help calm down your nausea if you're having a lot of it, because for me, in my experience, nausea can come up like that. And as soon as it does come up, you're gonna be craving something that'll take your mind off of it. So having like a little bit of candy in your purse is really nice. I always try to carry some. All right, last portion of the purse is this back part. I know, my purse is so cool, it has so many different compartments. Let's see. There's not much in here. <sighs> hemostats. I have hemostats in here. I don't even know why. I don't even know why I have hemostats in here, but I do. So yes, I have hemostats. If you guys ever need hemostats on the road, hit me up. I apparently carry them in my purse. I don't even know how they got in there. Oh, I have some of my pills in here. I always keep the daily pills that I take in a little thing in case I am on the road or I'm out of my house. Don't wanna miss a dose, so I just carry them around in here. These are all like my daily meds are in here. This is one of those stupid little adapter things that they gave you with the new iPhones because they don't have a headphone jack. So I always carry this around and I tell you what guys, it actually comes in handy way more often than you would imagine. So I love having this around. A hair tie. Great. I have a hair tie in, the, in my purse. Of course. I probably should have more because I'm always losing hair ties. It, it's impossible to hold on to hair ties for too long. All right. 
side component, I have some hand sanitizer, some EO hand sanitizer. This is really nice. I've always kept hand sanitizer in my purse because, you know, if you're dealing with your ostomy, if you're dealing with your pick line for any reason, you always want to have clean hands or at least as clean as you can get them at the time. All right. I have some lipstick in here, some MAC lipstick. Hey guys, look at me, I'm a little beauty guru. <laughs> I have some MAC lipstick in here, a little bullet. Okay, I have a pen. Can't hurt to have a pen around. And I have some, a lip crayon by e.l.f. This is in the shade Praline. Mm, very cool, very tasty sounding. I'm really hungry, so yeah, that's the shade. I, I almost never wear this, guys. I swear, all the makeup I don't use very frequently almost always ends up in my purse somehow. I don't know why. I think I wear it like once and then I think I'm gonna need it again and then I never wear it again. Oh, and here's some mascara. This is, I think, e.l.f. mascara. All right, other compartment over here, I have a mini lint roller. Oh my God, I love having this thing, especially since I got cats. It's been so helpful to have a lint roller around at all times. So yes, this is yet another little weird thing in my purse. I've been carrying one of these around since probably like 16, 17. So yeah, I've had this thing for a while. Uh, all right. And then, oh, I have some eye drops because my eyes get super, super dry. If you guys deal with dehydration like me, then you probably also get dry eyes. So I have some Renew Bausch & Lomb eye drops with me at all times. And the last thing is this Burt's Bees Wild Cherry Lip Balm. Let me just check. All right, that's it. <laughs> that's it for my purse. Oh. No, that's not it for my purse, apparently. <laughs> okay, uh, I also have a screen cleaner. Uh, I forgot I had that in there, so yes, I have a screen cleaner in here. Um, and I have this little packet of like lemon flavoring for drinks and stuff. I love using it. It just makes anything taste like lemon. It's, it's again, it's another thing for nausea. I like having really citrusy or sour things when I'm nauseated, so it's kind of nice to have like lemon water if I'm nauseated, and I always keep a few packets of these with me. This is actually it. I, there's no more in here, I promise. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys found that somewhat entertaining. I've never done one of these before, but please let me know if you guys found it interesting. I would love to hear what you guys have in your purses. If you're like fellow chronically ill people like me, our purses tend to be a little bit different from everyone else's, so I would love to hear it. And just leave it down in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, and as always, Gut Squad, stay safe out there. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.